Hello world, and welcome back to another episode of Magic Farm... What? Uh, what is that? How dare you interrupt my intro? Um, let's see. Mm, apparently I needed sleep. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, where was I? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Magic Farm 3. Um... So yeah, th I've been doing a bit of work and decided I needed to get some botanogen going, um, mainly for the reason that I needed to be able to get up to harvesting uh, obsidian. And the uh, the best way to do that was to get an, uh, an electrum pickaxe. Um, but in order to get an electrum pickaxe, we needed to harvest silver, and a man of steel pickaxe could actually harvest silver. So I went ahead and just... Uh, threw down a basic setup and I <clears throat> did a lot of this uh, same kind of stuff in uh, my um, Beyond Reality series. So all it is is nightshades and day blooms and alternating pattern and then some hydrangeas sitting down here and it's it does pretty good. I, uh, I moved my my shame up here. <laughs> it was getting in the way with it on the ground and uh, in other places. Um, did some work with my chocobo breeding and I've got the the pins prettied up and um, expanded out my farming operations uh, a bit more I can now make deluxe deluxe cheeseburgers and uh, mushroom bacon burgers and whatnot uh, I did manage to get gold chocobos but they're they're not maturing into adults and I don't I don't know why not maybe maybe that's disabled somehow I don't know but I've got actually two of them now and neither of them are actually becoming adults so yeah, it's kind of disappointing I really wanted to uh, use those guys for flight um, I did get uh, irrigation set up here and uh, basically I stored a tank up here yeah um, so basically it's a tank with uh, water flowing over top of it apparently uh, you can you can do that um, it'll fill the tank if water's flowing over it. So this is all irrigated now using the irrigation channels and the uh, the wooden water tanks, and with a with a bit of water. So that's all good. It doesn't seem to work as fast as say um, a watering can, <clears throat> but uh, but it works it works all right. Um, and then I did some work preparing for a magic area. So I was I was kind of working around over here and I. And I took a look at the mountainside here, and I was like, hmm, that looks like it could be some sort of tower or something. Uh, so I went ahead and, and built a, a bridge over and, and cleared out a space um, using some of the obsidian tiles. There's a, uh, <clears throat> if you uh, take a look, there's a, uh, one of those uh, altars, eldritch altar thingies, and I think this is it. I've hacked it up a bit as you can see to get that get at that tile so um, this is all great wood you can't harvest great wood unless you have obsidian level um, axe so I went ahead and upgraded my axe to a lumite I did not do my electrum pickaxe pick because electrum has an extremely high harvest uh, a mining speed so until I really need it or I find some place where I need to harvest above obsidian uh, I'm kind of inclined to leave it at the level it's at currently because right now the mining speed is a uh, 41 um, which is which is really good so I mean compared to this which is 7.9 um, yeah that's that's really good um, I did end up losing my leveled up hat uh, axe uh, I was running back from that uh, Thomcraft uh, thingy and it was a blood moon and it was night and things got really bad something some sort of lightning struck me or whatever and some things in my inventory went went missing I I, I don't know what happened um, but I've started getting getting some of the magical stuff set up over here um, and I'm ready to kind of start doing some uh, golems but uh, in order to get golems, I need, uh, well, I guess not necessarily to get golems, but to make a, a golem answers bell, I need to have nether quartz. So uh, I think on this episode, we're, we're going to go get some nether quartz and uh, make perhaps a golem. So I've got my obsidian set up, 
and we've got our, our portal to the uh, the unknown here so uh, let's let's see what we can uh, what we can do over here and how badly we might die probably just stepping out I'm, I'm sure I'll die while I'm zoning in but uh, okay that's interesting so let's not spend ooh I don't know what that was um, whoa what what is that going off sounds like heavy machinery I should probably wall the back of that off so that it doesn't get blown up yeah that's probably fine not looking for pretty right now um, so let's just do our standard nether hovel um, as simple as possible and go find us some nether quartz I'm not really looking to explore around but who knows maybe if we see something interesting we can get distracted um, but it looks like whoa, whoa. oh nether well that hole was very fortunate you're a lifesaver little hole <laughs> oh my <laughs> Ah, uh, almost, almost claimed its first victim, and that glad I could deny it the opportunity. Um, so let's see, let's make a little uh, overhang here just to protect things a little bit, and I guess maybe we'll just make a little door too. Why not? Let's just wall it off. There we go. I feel I feel safer already. Uh, nice and nice and tucked away. Um, so first things first. Let's uh, if I can remember the key to there we go. Add away points. All right, because usually I forget to do that step, and it's kind of important when exploring the Nether. Um, so hey, look at that. Nether quartz, good deal. Um, so I'm wondering if Angry Pigman is turned on for Nether quartz. Oh, oh, no! But we've got those lava fish or whatever you want to call them. Hmm. Whoa! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Explosions are turned on. Is that all of them? Okay. Whew. All right. Well, that that was hair raising for five Nether quartz. So I'm wondering if I should retreat or press on. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, bad judgment gets the better of me. So let's, uh, ooh, another diamond ore. Sitting right there. Um, there's some more nether quartz. Like, ooh, a bloodwood. I could probably use some bloodwood. Uh, I'd really like that, that glowstone, but... Uh, Hmm. I don't see anything immediately available to us that we could take advantage of. It looks like we're on like a precarious overhang here too, so... Hmm. Can I get rid of this stuff? I don't like it. I wonder if that levels up my hatchet. So what's over on this side? Ooh, maybe that is some easy glowstone. Um... Let's let's take a look. This looks more promising. Uh, another quartz. No, you don't explode. Thank you very much. Wow, I am not seeing any pigmen. That's bizarre. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's let's grab some glowstone just because. What's that? Hmm. I wonder what that is. Let's pull. Pull up. Come on now. The only enemies in another must be myself. <laughs> uh, silver. Oh, okay. I didn't hear any ag angry pigmen sounds. Hmm. That, that kind of concerns me. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ow, ow, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Jeez, does it... Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty, so, uh... Hmm. That was rather bad. Uh, I wonder... You know, I'd heard a uh, rumor that maybe uh, Silk Touch defeats that. I don't know. I might have to try that. But I would like to grab my... Uh, grab that Nether Quartz if you don't mind, Hellfish. Hmm. Mm, let's not hit any more blocks. I don't need those guys coming out. So apparently the explosion chance is very high because eh, I think you would have got through some of that before it blew up, but no. Alright, so enough of that. Um, I got a little bit of glowstone at least. I'll have to come back with silk touch for the for the glowstone. It's find it to be a little bit better to harvest that stuff with glow, with uh, silk touch, so let's uh let's get while the getting's good we got enough nether quartz i think for uh a bell at least so mm. and how to get back in there we go so we've got uh so how do i get the ore out just smelt it i guess okay fine we can smelt. And we did get that silver ore. Not that I am particularly desperate for it or anything, but we we can at least get started here. Um, let's put my stone in there and the excess cobble away. Ooh, I got some sulfur. Fancy. Let's just do this. I'm sure I probably need some of this for other things. But uh, for now, I might just use that for lighting. <laughs> um, man, I need, I need more space. I need a warehouse. So we need four bits. We have four bits. All right. Um, so now getting started. Let's make this guy, which is just a stick and four. Uh, okay, I got sticks. Cool. Now, I did uh, camp out uh, a Crimson Cultist thing and, and got myself uh, some of this stuff. Um, and I also put uh, Goggles of Revealing on the, my, my Man of Steel helmet, so that's all good to go. I think that actually gives me a Viz discount. Doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe not. All right. Well, we'll we'll run around as a cultist. No big deal there. It does give you warping though, some warp effects. So I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes. But at least uh, at least I get a little bit of a discount until I can make myself a proper set of robes. Um. There's my wand. My cheap wand. I need to make my my the, the next level. And there's our bell. All right, so we are we are started. Um, now I wish I'd brought that extra cauldron because I could use that, and we could get going with that piece as well. So I did do some research with the stuff I could get. I want to make some arcane levators. Um, and get an infernal furnace set up. Now that I can get to the nether, uh, I should be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> I need to get infusion research too, but we've got we've got the basics at least here. Um, harvest and gather, which we're going to need for the farm. I want to try and automate some food crafting so that I have an array of foods ready for me. Um, whenever I come back here or before I head out so that's kind of the short-term goal to uh, get off our plates is just getting um, food production automated 
in some fashion. Um, if I wanted some early RF, I could probably make the Botania RF generation dealy. I forget what it's called, but and I made it in Beyond Reality, so um, this guy's going to need some sky access, so maybe we'll just plop him down here for now, um, just so we can dissipate any flux that we might create. And now we have our crucible. Now we actually need a heat source. Hmm. Does a torch work? Because now maybe we should move this. Let's. I guess we don't need it specifically over there, so. I don't want to have to light a fire because I don't really have a good place to set it. That wouldn't burn things. Uh, and we need some water nearby. It looks like it might be working, otherwise that's just a particle effect coming through the bottom. Which could also be the case. Um, I think I have a pool right here, yes. And I need to move this over, over into that structure. Are we bubbling? Hmm. As soon as this works, I'll make some nitor and we'll we'll move back over there cuz you can you can power these things off of nitor now as well. <coughs> it doesn't look like the torch is working. Um it's unfortunate. Uh that might be a little close. Let's see. Okay, so let's let's move our operation. Uh, there's so much to burn. <laughs> I think right here is sufficiently in the clear, but I could be wrong about that. Um, we want to take uh, a little bit of dirt and our crucible. And we got two buckets of water. There we go. So now we should be ready to uh, become uh, art art artificers. Uh, I don't know what the plural of that is, but let's see if that starts bubbling. There we go. Okay. So now then, let's let's go ahead and make that nitor, um, which is under alchemy. So I think we want torches and coal will give us what we need for this. Um, and was it glowstone dust? Yeah. Three, three, and three. What does, actually I should probably scan some of this stuff. Okay. So we wanted to fire torches potentia. So let's take that. And we have some torches. Now then, the tricky part, doing the math. <laughs> so what do we got? We need we need three of each. So Cole has two and two, so two, four, six. Um, and torches have one each, so I will need six of those. And I just saw my torches here. All right. So that'll give us six. Okay. We should we should be good, and then this two will give us what we need. So let's go. Um. Yeah, there we go. Hey, my math worked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Okay. Um, so we can now put this out and move it someplace else. A little bit safer, I think. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we leave it right here. We just, we just do this. Because why not? 
it's right in the way and I'll be able to trip over it so that's that's better uh, there we go okay so moving right along we should be able to make uh, golems actually we need two cores so we need bricks and night ooh uh, so I need a little bit more nitor um, Darn it, I, I, I made that glowstone into blocks. I knew it. I knew as soon as I did that I would need that back. Ah, that was wasteful. <laughs> um, so we need uh, two, four, six, and two, three, four, five, six. And we need some bricks. So let's get that made up. Do I have any bricks? No. No, I don't. Okay, well, everything's a huge mess in here. I feel like a true wizard. <laughs> so, let's get set back up here. Alright, so now we have our two Nitor we need. And, in order to make this, we need to pop that in with some uh, Terra and Lucrum. And for this guy, we need uh, Metto and Messius. Uh, I can throw weed in for that, but what do I need for the Mito? Or Metto, or whatever you want to call it. Seeds. Okay. Seeds and... Ah. I need, I need to eat. Why don't we just do a little grazing on our way over? So I've got almond trees over there, and you can actually make um, milk from them by putting it into a presser. I thought you could make cooking oil out of it, um, but you can't. You need uh, olives or walnuts, uh, and that'll make cooking oil. Now the oven is powered by cooking oil, so that's kind of why I want it. Um, uh, let me take a break right here, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So uh, I think we were we were making some bricks. Uh, man, every time I cut, it always ends up being at least hours later since uh, before I get back to it. So um, I think that's enough for what we want to do. We need that nitor and these bricks in. Maybe I'll pull my arcane crafting table out here. I really don't need the uh, the research desk at the moment, so it might be easier if I relocate it in there. I'm probably going to have to dig like a chimney or something for uh, for flux uh, to escape. But uh, I think for now we'll probably be okay uh, working outside. These uh, these robes will keep us plenty shielded from sunburn. <laughs> Uh, unless warp happens to give us sunburn, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it does. Uh, I don't even know if warp is turned on in. Uh, well, uh, I guess it shows it in the the research book. I think if it's turned off, it won't. Uh, it won't show up in here. So, like for instance, if I look at the infernal furnace, it says uh, forbidden knowledge is minor. So, it it seems like it would be turned on if that was like that. So. Um, and hopefully I'm going to have enough uh, <clears throat> V in my wand. I think it's V, not Viz. Uh, so we need two plank cores. And we were actually, I think, working on getting the aspects we need. So, well, we need to make that for sure, but let's make this for now. Um, so we can get that off of, like, dirt or something and that off of gold maybe uh, and we can use hose I guess or we were looking at seeds and wheat so let's grab some wheat and let's just grab a bit and we can turn some of those into seeds should be good enough and how much of what is on there So that's got two, and this has two. Oh, hey, 
Two and four. Okay. And did that have Terra on it? No. Okay. So we might need a second Crucible would probably be the best thing we could do here because we're going to have to wait for the the Flux to... And what am I doing here? Um, I guess I could have just looked at it this way. Waited for the Flux to dissipate off of it, or the Aspects to, to burn off, I guess. So we need 5 and 5, so we can do that. Um, hmm... Man, I hate to throw that much in there because it's just going to take forever for it to uh, to burn off. But oh well. Um, so two, four, six. Oh no, that was apparently not correct. You know what? the The problem I'm having here is I can't actually see what's in that cauldron um, because this doesn't have my goggles on it so yeah I was throwing the wrong thing in <laughs> oh great um okay well we need that uh... well let's see what kind of weird thing we just made oh we've got we've got harvest uh, we need to gather. <laughs> uh, so, how much do we have? We don't have any Terra in there, huh? All right. Well, let's let the let's let the environment take one for the team here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I should I should not be allowed to uh, to make anything. Uh, I have no regard for the environment. Let's not let's not leave that stuff sitting around. I think this works. There we go. We got we got our waste disposal SWAT team going on here in the form of dirt. Uh, whenever there's a whenever there's a nuclear crisis, just uh, cover it up with dirt, right? Uh, I think this would be the equivalent of a nuclear crisis in Thumbcraft. Um, all right. Well, we have more. We actually have a spare nitor, so we're we're good. We can continue. Oh, right. Need to put that on the table. And there we go. One more core. All right. So now we should probably not mess this up. Let's see what the best item for... I'm pretty sure I've only looked at gold so far anyway, so... Oh no, hey, look at that. Uh, ooh, chests. Okay. I can make plenty of those. I have a bunch of wood planks. How many is that going to give me? Two. Okay. Hmm. And we need five Terra, so we're going to need two, three chests. Like so. And then we're going to need a bit of... Um, what's dirt got on it? Two. Okay, well that works out. Um, yeah, so three of each. All right, so we got we have gather now, and we have green glow shoe. How did that come in here? Where did I get that from? <laughs> I wonder if that's a side effect of warp. Uh, can I eat them? I can't plant them. Oh, I can plant them on. Well, why not? Let's let's look. Oh no, I'd have to. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's not important right now. <laughs> um, we're gonna need a couple straw golems for the uh, for the time being. 
soul. We need soul sand. And hay bale. I can do that easy. Oh, do chests have some of the stuff we need? What has what has spiritus on it? I don't know that I successfully found anything with spiritus on it. I think I actually had to create that. Here it is. Um, heads. Uh, do come here, chicken head. Uh, that's got mortis, so maybe it's just player heads. What's that got on it? No, that's got four. How many do we need? We need exactly four. Um, does this have anything? No. Uh, so we need more heads. Oh, I haven't scanned rotten flesh yet. Hmm. It might be more beneficial if we just ran out and got maybe some soul sand and just called that called it there. Um, but Motus and man. Now a chest's head. I guess I can just look at this. No. Hmm. All right. So let's let's do this one step at a time, I suppose. Let's go see if I can find some uh, soul sand and grab that. And uh, how about I I come back once I got the soul sand and the other pieces for the straw golems, and uh, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I uh, I think I have enough stuff here to go ahead and make up the golems I want. Uh, I researched the wood golem because I think we want him to go ahead and gather, and so I also researched the uh, upgrade for air because we'll probably want to make him faster. So um, let's let's go ahead and give this a try. There we go. Now we've got all this extra stuff that's going to cause a problem. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore it for now. And cause another problem. Bam! Alright, so we are golemed. Um, of course, now I can't... Uh, what does it take to make the core, the air... Gold nuggets around an air shard, no problem. And you know, I don't know that we need the order upgrade. Um, because with the agricraft crops, I don't, I don't think they actually harvest the seeds. So I think we might be okay without that. Um, let's give it a shot, though. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we need it or not. <coughs> so where did I move my air shards to? Here we go. Oh, and I don't have a whole lot of those. Um, do do do. Hey, we have a bunch of gold nuggets too. Actually, I could have used the Thomcraft coins. Oh, I need to do that on my my table. Uh, let's get that Viz discount. Ah, yes, you're all going to bubble. Hopefully, you don't create any taint. Okay, so that should that should do it. Now we need to actually put some of this in. What I'm thinking is void barrels. Um, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want it uh, to try and harvest multiple, multiple stuff. So let's let's just get one of those, one of these set up, and we'll maybe get a bunch of different golems. Um, uh, I need planks and a chest. Chest plank and some logs and that will make me a barrel now I think you need to upgrade this a level in order to be able to attach a void to it and so I think it's something like uh, do I have yeah alrighty and now we actually need the void upgrade basically I want you see I don't know mm, 
Maybe they'll stop working if it's full. Yeah, let's let's try it. You know, we can always stick the void on there later. Oh no, my table has been tainted. Ah oh, well, it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> let's do let's do these guys because I need I need them for making other things um, that we're going to need to automate. So we've got a wood golem. Let's put him. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, and let's give him the. Uh, that's harvest. That's what I want. All right, so I want to make sure he's only. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's make sure he only gets these because I don't want him wandering off. And let's go ahead and initialize that guy and lock it. And now let's put down our straw golem. You, get off there. Oops, dang it. Uh, I don't have my harvest. Um, let's upgrade this guy. We're going to do speed. And this guy was going to do harvest. I don't know if I can make it so that he only harvests. Um this stuff or yeah so see we don't we don't need the order upgrade it's it's not gonna matter um, wow they must have improved the maybe they maybe that's always been that way but he's going in rows so that's kinda interesting um not nope, looks like his range is a seven by seven that's that's really nice um yeah but that that gather golems really going slow Maybe we should have put a strength upgrade instead of a speed on him, but uh, hmm. well, that's working. That's working pretty good. So my soybeans should be automated now. I need a way to um, put it into the presser. I wonder if we need a perception core on him, though. Can he get out this far, or is he more or less stuck inside there? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll have to keep an eye on him and uh, figure out what his range is. Um, maybe we can. The tiny spectacles will give him an increase. Glass and iron. Let's let's do that. I feel like that would be a good one. That way we can keep the speed on him because he's pretty slow. Oh no. Oh, oh no! This is this is terrible. What what are we gonna do? Our land has become tainted. Uh, oh yeah, we can we can just pave over it. That'll work. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. We'll let we'll let the next generation deal with it. <laughs> oh man. Um, I could probably. I wonder if you can just cap it and let it go its merry way. Anyway, uh, we were going to make some tiny spectacles real quick before we close out this episode. Um, glass, glass, iron on a table probably. That's probably covered in ooze. Nah, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. And an iron, and we have tiny specks. Yeah, it looks like he's not he's not able to go further than this. Um Nope, nope. He's getting them. Okay. Um, maybe we save this then. Eh. There we go. <laughs> now you can see, my friend. All right. Well, we've got we've got our golem started. Um Gonna need quite a few more golems, especially with the way this is set up. If we're if we're doing one um, one golem per patch or two golems per patch here, uh, I could probably upgrade him with some perception and maybe set set a harvest right here and have it do all of these fields. I don't I don't know. Maybe we can see how far we can get him to see, but I think we're okay for this episode. I'm gonna try and get some more golems set up. The only thing I've found Humanus on is, is zombie flesh, really, that's easy to get, or player heads, which I don't wanna 
you know, I don't want to lose track of how many times I died. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, leave a like or subscribe, and have a good one, guys.